Welcome back to the Wapler Virtual Academy. Today I'm going to be dealing with setting up uh, projects within Wapler. I'm going to do it in four short stages. I'm going to be dealing with uh, setting up local, setting up remote, and then I'll be going on to using Docker, Docker local and Docker remote. I'm going to do these in four separate modules, um, so this one's going to be pretty short. This is setting up your local target. So let's pop into Wapler. Um, here we have the project icon, bottom left hand corner here. Pro click on that, go over to new project and I'm just going to create a blank project. It'll ask for a project name and I'm just going to call that Wapler Training. Uh, and I'm going to select a project folder. I've already got a folder set up for this. Um, on my E drive, Wapler Training Core UK, public HTM. And the reason I have have the this set up is that is how uh, the, the FTP works within this particular domain, which is on wapplerhosting.com. Um, the FTP route will set to or point to Wapler Training Core UK. However, the actual web pages themselves go into the public HTML folder. And that's a really important concept that we'll be dealing with when we're dealing with uh, FTP in the next session. So for the moment, we're going to just select that particular directory. I'm not going to deal with Git as yet. We'll deal with Git later. So I'm just going to save that. And that's the target created. Now you'll notice that once you create the target, it creates two folders for you, an assets folder and a CSS. You're not compelled to use those folders for your assets and your CSS. You can redefine your own, but for simplicity, I'm just going to stick with the presets. So actually you're going to go back into project settings here, and you'll see now it will ask you for your CSS style page. Plus here would allow you to create a new one if you want. I'm just going to stick with the defaults and similarly your asset folder and I'm going to again just select assets on that. My server model is PHP and I will be using routing through that. So that's it. Basically that is your local project setting set up for Wapler training within Wapler itself. So I um, hope to see you soon in the next module.